Welcome to Dr. Just a Rant, and I'm gonna rant about this. From Bounding to Comics, NBC News legal analyst Glenn Kirshner attempts to cancel Sylvester Stallone. Oh no, not Sly! God damn it, these people are never going to win, even after a beautiful Rambo. <sighs> but then again, he makes quite a bit of a name, considering he also has the name Kirshner, and there's a certain... <coughs> President in Argentina that also holds that name who destroyed the country to, well, implementing socialism and destroyed it. Well, so, well done. Bring your name. Ah, you make your name worth it, don't you? Maybe it's something to do with the family. Either way, let's do a go one. Glenn Kirchner, an NBC News and MSNBC legal analyst, took to Twitter in an attempt to cancel Sylvester Stallone based on a rumor. Kirchner took to Twitter when he wrote, Today, today Hollywood scary, Will Smith is a hero, and Sylvester Stallone is zero. He continued, Smith and Apple Studios pull out a film project in Georgia, and Will Stallone supports criminal ex-president by joining Amara Lago. I think you will, shameful sly, let's spread the word. Whee! He concluded, Smith alongside Smith alongside director Antoine Antoine Fuqua and Apple Studios did indeed pull the production of Emancipation out of Georgia. Well, a bit weird. Why wouldn't you want in election integrity? It buckles my mind. Well, maybe he's going to Colorado, kind of like um the MLB did, which has an even stricter voting laws, but. In a press statement, they announced director-producer uh, Antoine Fuqua and his Fuqua films and actor-producer Will Smith and his media company Westbrook Inc. have decided to move production of their upcoming film, Emancipation, from the state of Georgia due to the newly enacted voting restrictions passed by the state, uh, state legislature and signed by the governor. Smith and Fuqua, Fuqua also released a joint statement. And they stated, At this moment in time, the, <clears throat> the nation is going to turn with his we cannot, in good conscience, provide economic support to government with any acts or aggressive voting laws that are designed to restrict voter access. <coughs> the statement continued. Hmm. Well, why is it regressive? I, I can't think of not even a single Latin American country where the you don't need, you don't require a voter ID and your ID card to prove to prove that who you are it's you and for you to vote or oh, maybe Bolivia Venezuela maybe those two are exceptions I don't know about Argentina but um, maybe oh yeah Argentina too hmm. anyway regrettably we compel. <clears throat> Yeah, the you're in the law, I reminisce into voting impediments that were passed at the end of reconstruction to prevent the Americans from voting. Well, I'm starting to sound like the fish people from Call of Cthulhu. Oh well. It kind of sounds like one, so. Regrettably, I feel compelled to move off and protect them during the criminal stay. As for Kirchner claims about Stallone, they are based on a rumor from page 6. An anon anonymous source claiming to have seen Stallone at the club in March told the publication Sly just became a member of Mar-a-Lago. Page 6 and all the details provide on, provide on whether or not Stallone is an actual member. <clears throat> of course, of course. Stallone did have a praise for Trump back in 2016, he told Variety, I love Donald Trump. <laughs> Uh, I love Donald Trump. Uh, 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 I love Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Oh, okay. He went on to say, He is a great Dickensian character. You know what I mean? There are certain people like Arnold, Baby Ruth, Out of the Beard and Life. But I do not know how to translate through in the world. 
<clears throat> well, apparently, these people are uh, so old damn unhinged, wasn't it? Not? No, 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 no. They need to cancel everybody who doesn't subscribe to their... These I have a tiny little weird thing if you hear. Oh, wait, is that a reflection or something? Hmm. Mm. Can't see. I, I just have to deal with um, a moron trying to cancel this land is my land game. And a couple of weeks ago, I had to deal with that same thing again, but from someone else. And then, and then, I also had to deal a couple of times with six uh, with six days in Fallujah. What are these people trying to achieve? Well, they want to achieve their communist utopia, their socialist utopia, like Nazi Germany, fascist Italy, or communist Russia. You know, during the Soviet times and things like that, where everybody had to actually believe to the, have the same belief as the party or the leaders of the country. Otherwise, you you'd get you know, Clinton, or you get uh, suicided. Maybe in the later years you didn't get suicided. Even were more like put on a firing squad and call it. Good job, buddy. You didn't believe what we told you to believe, so now, bye-bye. And then they get shot. <clears throat> or, as uh, some people from my tribe ended up being pizzas. Yeah. We sent to ovens or things like that. Albeit in my time of the actual part of that tribe that is actually part of my tribe, ended up being cinder blocks for the fires, and we burnt like roasted pigs. But anyway, that's what cancel culture is all about. You, you either subscribe to the talking narrative, to the talking points of the, the leading community, to the leaders of the, <clears throat> the so-called movement, or you get cancelled. And if you get cancelled, at least in this day and age, at least not yet, and I hope we, I don't see that, which end up being the death or sent to gulags and things like that. But it's getting almost there where you actually can't find a job, you can't buy anything, you can't own anything, you pretty much get kicked out of society. And there is going to come a point where people will start to, I don't know, get really pissed off. <clears throat> Because you take everything the person owns just because of the opinion they hold, and they are not even <clears throat> they are not even neo Nazis. They are just normal run of the mill normie dude. You're gonna get a very large population of angry people, and you'll get another Donald Trump if the media doesn't try to uh, whitewash or try to peddle propaganda in trying to affect or fortify a certain election, but eh, that's definitely something that will definitely happen and I, I, I'm not looking forward to that. Uh, especially, uh, I hope I hope the pendulum swings back, at least we enjoy a couple of years where nobody gives a shit and enjoy the centrism type of way, where nobody gives a shit and we can enjoy jokes and stuff like that back again but unfortunately that may take a few years and um, the pendulum will swing back far right much much more than it did on the left because the left just keeps on pulling and pulling um, until we get Nazi Germany and don't don't get me wrong Nazi Germany is and was a fascist eh, was a left wing uh, belief just like fascism was left-wing because all of those systems are based on socialism yes they nationalized multitude of things including banks they they fired to control of companies and installed uh, puppets or people who were in favor of the of the leading party in that case fascism or nazism and by the way first holding things like that. It's a bundle of sticks. That's a reference. Yes, to fascism. 
So, anyway, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And fuck you, YouTube, because fuck you, YouTube. And if you like this stuff, stay right here on youtube.com forward slash Chester. If you want spicy and exclusive content, head to bitchute.com forward slash Dr. Chester or minds.com forward slash Dr. Chester for that spicy content. And probably giggity stuff. But since today I actually had to do a lot of work, there's no exclusive video. So, <clears throat> plus it's hot as fuck. And uh, I know I'm hot, but I'm talking about the environment, so... Anyway, thank you for watching. Have a very, very good night.